Hey guys, you're watching BTEC. I'm Basil and this is the Huawei Mate 9. This is also the final part of my four part series of sponsored videos, giving you guys a chance to win a Huawei Mate 9 for yourself and giving me the chance to talk about some of my favorite things about it. And if you couldn't tell, this video is all about that camera. Now for a phone to stand out from the crowd these days, it has to be pretty special. And the Huawei Mate 9 is just that. You've got two cameras around the back. You've got one 20 megapixel sensor with optical image stabilization to counteract the handshake. And you've got a black and white sensor as well. You've got a dual flash and laser autofocus to keep everything nice and speedy. But it isn't just about hardware, it's about software too. And this is where the Huawei Mate 9 really comes into its own. You've got a ton of shooting modes and they really, really do play a part. Out of the box, you've also got manual mode, which you don't have on phones like the iPhone, for example. You have to download and install and buy separate applications. This is really easy to access, just swipe in from the right. There are also a whole bunch of other settings, but we're not really gonna talk about these. We're gonna jump straight into the main shooting modes. Now the first mode I'm gonna talk about is actually the easiest to jump into. You can see there's a little aperture icon above the flash icon on the bottom left hand side. Tap it until it goes orange and then tap on the screen, take your picture and you've taken a wide aperture picture. This is the equivalent of portrait mode on an iPhone for example. And what's nice about it is it's a lot more flexible than portrait mode. You can actually, once you've taken the picture, focus on a different part of it focus on the background, focus on the foreground, and if you were to drag up, you can increase the drama of the effect. You can therefore see when I focus on the background, the foreground's much more blurred out now. When I tap on the BTEC logo, you can see it really, really looks great. You can also play about with the effects uh, so that that perspective information that the second lens has got allows you to like blow stuff up and change it so everything's monochromatic except for that foreground element. It's really cool. Me personally, I'm gonna leave it with plain old aperture blur. And what that also means is it's gonna save as a full resolution file. I can pinch in and I can see I've got a really, really nice amount of detail in the wood there and a gorgeous blurred out background. If I wanna change that, just go to my original and then I can save an entirely new picture with a focus fully on the background. While I could talk about manual mode, it's super easy to access. You swipe in from the right, you access pro mode, ISO, shutter speed, you can control it or Manual mode's on quite a few phones now, but what really differentiates the Mate 9 are the additional shooting modes, specifically light painting and night shot. When taking light painting pictures in pro mode, it's very, very easy to overexpose elements. It's really, really cool to have, and you can get the shutter speed open for, oh, freaking ages, 30 whole seconds. But at 30 seconds, unless you're literally filming pitch black, you're probably gonna expose everything way too much. How do you counteract that? Whether you're a novice or an expert, the light painting mode is super smart. It applies an almost HDR layering of lots of different photos together to give you the best light painting that you can get on this phone. I personally haven't manually gotten a better light painting than I have through using this specific mode. The exact same thing can be said of night shot. If I swipe in from the right to access pro mode, I could just take a long exposure shot or I could open up night shot. Here I can customize ISO and shutter speed if I want to, or I can let it make all the decisions. And you know what? Letting it make all the decisions is fantastic. It really, really does take full advantage of every one of those 20 megapixels. When I heard there was a two time zoom on here that was lossless, I wasn't all that impressed because it's a digital and not an optical zoom. The iPhone 7 has an optical zoom, for example, but I stand corrected because there is one cool thing about the zoom on this that the iPhone 7 doesn't have, and that's optical image stabilization. But what it actually translates to is sharper shots on the Huawei Mate 9 than you get on the iPhone 7 Plus's optical zoom. So I definitely didn't cover everything that I love about this camera. I didn't talk about the black and white sensor's ability to take native monochrome pictures, which are lower in noise and just look so good. I also didn't talk about the directional microphones and the fact that all four microphones on here do such a good job when you're recording video, it is unreal. Check out my comparison with the iPhone 7 Plus for that. But I talked about the key things I use day in, day out. And this is the last in the series of sponsored videos with Huawei, giving you guys a chance to win a Mate 9 for yourself. If you've got any questions about it, fire them in the comments section below. Remember, check the description for details on how you can win one. And if you did like it, thumbs up button. And if you like the channel, subscribe. It's how you'll stay on top of everything we do. Thanks for watching, BTEC.